Hello and welcome. You're watching Life with Matthew, and this is part three of my ongoing console setup upgrade thing. After getting my entertainment center all cleaned up, I found that my Kinect was no longer working with the 360, claiming a system update was required to use the Kinect. In the last video, we did some prep work to get the Xbox 360 neighborhood installed on a Windows 10 computer, so now we're ready to update the dashboard to the final version released by Microsoft on November 12, 2019. This is going to be version 17.559. Now this method of updating your 360 is only necessary if you've modded your 360 with the JTAG or RGH mod. If you have a stock 360, just connect it to the internet and let it download the install. If you did that with your modded Xbox 360 though, you'd probably brick your system, so let's go about doing this the right way. First of all, you're gonna need four files. XEBuild underscore GUI underscore 2.098 underscore 17559.zip System update underscore 17559 underscore USB.zip A backup of your existing modded NAND and simple 360 NAND flasher. I provided a link for XE Build, the official system update, and Simple Man Flasher version 1.2. There is a 1.4 beta version, but I've used 1.2 and I see no reason to use a beta version. As for the NAND backup, you have to have your own copy of that from your 360. Using someone else's will have complications to say the least, and probably brick your system. I've heard that if you have an RGH 360, like me, then Simple NAND Flasher can have issues with getting a dump of your NAND off of it. It works fine for updating the NAND back onto your 360, but it has issues getting it off. So hopefully you've made a backup of your NAND when you modded your Xbox 360 like I did. If not, you could use Simple NAND Flasher, but I'd recommend getting the current version of your NAND from the Zelle web interface. To do this, boot into Zelle by pressing the eject button on your Xbox 360, then, once it's loaded, open your web browser and go to the IP address displayed in Zelle. From here, you'll be able to copy over your CPU key and DVD key, get a list of your current fuses, get your decrypted key vault, and, most importantly for us right now, download your RAW Flash, which will work for creating our updated NAND image. Click on the download button next to RAW Flash and choose to save this file to a location of your preference. I've already saved this to my backups location, so I'm going to cancel out, but for me, it was a 512 megabyte file and took about 6 minutes to copy over. Depending on your system, this file could be a lot smaller, but I had the Jasper 512 megabyte flash, so there you go. When it's done downloading, be sure to select Reboot so your 360 will launch back into your custom dashboard. Once you have all four required files and your NAND, unzip XEBuild. It is very important that you start with XEBuild as the systemupdate.zip is the official update for the 360 from Microsoft. Starting with that will probably brick your system because it's no different than connecting your 360 to the internet and letting it download the update itself. We will need it later to get avatars working, but you must start with XEBuild. Once XEBuild is unzipped, open the newly created folder and double click XEBuild GUI 2.0. This can look a little intimidating, but don't worry, the program's going to fill out most of this for you. Start by clicking on Open next to Source File and selecting the dump you made previously of your modded NAND. Once you do, you can see how it fills in build type, motherboard 1BL key, and your motherboard information. We still need to get your CPU key, and there are a couple options for getting it. If you're anything like me, then you wrote it down and saved it in the central location when you first installed your mod. If you're one of these so-called normal people I've heard so much about who don't have precise organizational structures for everything from viral structures to how cups are put away in the cupboard, it's really easy to find your CPU key still. The first option is to simply boot into Zell Reloaded by pushing the eject button on your 360. And once it's loaded, it will display both your CPU and DVD key. Alternatively, you can boot back into Dash Launch, like we did to install the Xbox 360 Neighborhood plugin in the previous video, hit the right bumper a couple times to get to the miscellaneous screen, and then select System Info. Like Zell, this will display the CPU and DVD key, but as a fun extra, it will let you tweak your system temperatures to have your 360 running a little more hot or cool, but my advice is just to leave well enough alone. The only problems with using the Zell or Dash Launch method of getting your CPU key is you have to manually write it down. It's a very long alphanumeric string, which leaves a lot of possibilities open for screwing it all up. I advise you to let XEBuild get the information itself by connecting your 360 to the network, then launching Zell by pressing the eject button on your 360. Once it's booted, make a note of your IP address and enter that into the box that says IP to Zell. 
then click Get CPU Key slash CFLDV from Network. Assuming you've entered your IP correctly, and your computer and 360 are on the same network, the final bits required will be auto-populated. Now assuming you've done everything correctly, at the bottom of the XE Build GUI window, you will see 8 green check marks and no red X marks. By default, once you press Generate Hacked Image, it will create a modded system update to the exact same location as your NAND dump. If you want to change this, just change the output path option. Now one last thing to check before you generate your modified update is if you have the option to select Disable FCRT.BinCheck in the Special Patches area on the right hand side of this window. This option will only be available to someone who has a slim Xbox 360, but I've been told that if you do have a slim 360, you're absolutely going to want to check this box. Now regardless of if you have a fat or slim 360, at this point you should have 8 green check marks and be ready to generate your image. So on the left hand side of the window at the bottom of the screen, click Generate Hacked Image. For me, it took around 10 seconds to generate this image, but the time may vary based on your system. Once it's done, hit yes to close their program. If you have 360 Neighborhood installed, this next part is a cinch. Just launch the Neighborhood and open your 360. I initially had an issue since, like a dunce, I forgot to reboot my 360 after launching it into Zelle to get the CPU and DVD keys. So reboot your 360 and get it back into your custom dashboard so you can connect to it through 360 Neighborhood. If you do not have 360 Neighborhood, you can either watch my last video showing you how to install it, or just copy the modded NAND to the USB stick. Make sure to also copy over simple 360 NAND flasher if you don't already have that on your 360. Then put the updated NAND in the 360 NAND flasher folder. You can then launch NAND flasher by double-clicking default.exe from 360 Neighborhood. Assuming you've done things correctly, you'll see this screen and have the option to flash your NAND by pressing A. If the update file is not present in the same folder as Simple NAND Flasher, you will only see an option to press X to dump your NAND, or press any other button to quit out of the flasher. So press A to flash the updated NAND. We haven't come this far just to quit now. Now I messed up my recording at this point, so you won't see it actually flash, and I do apologize for that. But it will prompt you one last time to confirm you want to flash the NAND by pressing Start. This is your last chance to change your mind about installing this updated patch. And if you decide you don't need the latest dashboard, you can press any button except Start. Once you do press Start, it will go through the process of updating your dashboard. Depending on the size of your 360 flash memory, it can take a few minutes. So just patiently wait for it to finish and let it shut down when it's done. At this point, you have successfully applied the update to your 360, but there is one last step before you're done. Right now, you do not have a functional avatar, just a gray, faceless blob. To fix this, you now need to use the official system update that you downloaded from the link I provided. Don't worry about using this now. While it would have bricked your console if you did it first, now it's only going to copy over the missing bits to get your avatar working. One thing to keep in mind though, this only works provided you use the official update for the version of the dashboard that you've just updated to. Anything else, and you will end up breaking your system. So if you're downloading it yourself instead of using the one I provided, in the description area, make sure the version number matches. It should be 17559. To apply the update, you'll need to unzip the system update, copy it onto a USB drive formatted for FAT32, and change the S in system update into a dollar sign. The reason for this is because Dash Launch actively protects you from bricking your Xbox 360 by not allowing system updates to automatically launch. It will only let updates with a double dollar sign run. Once you insert your USB stick with the double dollar sign system update folder on it, into your 360 it will automatically prompt you to install the update. Select yes and once it's done, your 360 will reboot, then your avatar will be working. Congratulations, you've done it! Your 360 is fully updated! If you're finding these videos helpful, I hope you'll subscribe and ring that bell icon to be notified of future content I upload, and I hope you'll consider joining my Patreon or Subscribestar to keep the channel going. Even just a dollar a month can go a long way to letting me make even more of this kind of content. So until the next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.